Hello, my wonderful tribe. My name is Emily Potter, the director of the Lightworker Musicians Tribe and the Million Kisses Foundation. Today is a very sacred moment that I have with you. One of our tribe members wrote to me and asked me the specific question, so much so that it's really potent and really powerful what she's going through. And I want to share this with you and offer it to the tribe. I'm also going to even read her very words because it might be something that some of you are going through in your own way. So here's the general gist of what this, what this is about today. Are you feeling a loss of excitement and passion for your music? Something that's been giving you purpose but there's been something that's happened or shifted for you so that you don't actually feel that excitement any longer. So this is what our tribe sister wrote in for me to, to know about. She said, after a major car accident I was in in February, I got a traumatic brain injury. And since then, although I've kept going with music and pushing myself to keep going, even when maybe I should have been resting, I have felt this loss of excitement or joy energy, drive, and passion for what used to give me so much motivation and purpose. I'm hoping this will return, but right now I'm not feeling anything. It makes me sad and feeling empty in a way, grieving who I used to be and accepting who I am now. I wonder if you have ever felt this and did it come back? So first I want to shower you and anyone else with compassion and love and a lot of a lot of just wholesome connection. And that's the, the feeling that I have for this situation. And now I'm going to go into the mentorship role and I'm gonna challenge something for you, knowing that I have all this love to offer. I'm gonna challenge a limitation that I'm seeing here and more so offer a direction of where to put this energy this loss and this this feeling of grieving you have to feel all of that so please feel that all the way through and then you'll know at least where to go next so the first thing i want to she asked two questions specifically she says do i keep pushing through or do i give myself a break and then another question she asked is, am I playing small if I take a break? So I'm gonna share with you as I, as I challenge this, this, this situation, I'm gonna challenge you to say, what's happening is that life has given you the opportunity to surface what has been holding you back. The car accident got your attention. You can never go back to where you were because it's time for you to grow into who you are. And now this is the place where in our tribe, if you're just a musician to be an entertainer, this doesn't apply to you. But for those of you who know that you're music medicine, the light worker in you is calling you deeper. The car accident got your attention. And anyone who has the uh, equivalent of a car accident, it has gotten your attention so that you cannot go backwards. You cannot be who you were before. You have to grow deeper. And the way that you do that is that it is time right now to get very clear about what fears are coming up. What is surfacing for you? What is holding you back? And life has offered you this gift for you to rest not actually resting, what you're doing instead is that you might be putting your instrument down. You might not be doing as many gigs because you as the light worker with music medicine has to go deeper. You have to go in and find out what's been holding you back. And I happen to know some of the fears that have been holding back this sister who has written to me. I know some of the fears that you've expressed in the past. And it is time now. You have created a situation for you to look at them and overcome them. And that is your work to do. And the reason why is because you have, and I shared this with you in a private message already, you have a greater purpose than what you have thus far been able to do. You will never grow smaller again. You must grow. You must overcome those fears. You must live the musical calling all the way. And I'm going to even say to you deeper that even if you think that it's taking a break, I know this about you, that you're not taking a break. You're, you're thinking about this all the time. You're feeling it all the time. 
You want this. This is what drives you. This is the passion. Your passion is asking everything of you. And it is time to look at what's been holding you back and to get brave. The car accident happened so that you have to slow down and you, otherwise you just keep doing what you're doing. You just keep doing the gigs. You just keep, you know, offering what you could, but your heart song is asking you to go deeper and to overcome those things so that you can be of service to the whole at a greater expansive place. You created that because your fears deserve to be overcome because you know who you really are. So whether you say it's taking a break or not, I already know that it's not you taking a break. It's you actually going deeper and investing in yourself and investing in your courage. And I'm going to share with you. I want to see if I missed anything that you said. Those are the two main questions that you had. So I would say that you don't want to push. You don't want to push anything. You're going to trust and more than trust, I would say your, your key word right now is courage. Tribe, if anything is holding you back, if you actually are feeling listless, you're feeling that loss of excitement and purpose, it's because you, you're playing small. You've, been, you're, you're, you've grown out of the pond, and it's, it's now not serving you anymore. To, to hold so tight to your fears. It is time for you to embrace the words, whatever it takes. So what that means for you, for the one who wrote in, it's time for you to do whatever it takes to overcome the fears that have held you back. Now, I'm going to say that this level of inner work is real. And what I say, the word real, I mean, it can get deep. And so I I offer you another solution that you really deserve to have someone on your journey with you. Now, it may not be me, and I want you to just connect with who you feel called to, but whoever, however it looks, you deserve to have someone walking in there with you, someone you trust, someone you feel like you're a vibrational match with, because the level of inner work that our tribe does when you're ready to go to the next level, you deserve a mentor to help you get there. There's only so much you can see by yourself. So whoever and however you feel led, it is time to take that step and say, I'm doing whatever it takes because you cannot sustain where you are right now. That place of feeling the loss of creativity, the loss and the mourning, you cannot stay there. You can stay there for a, a, a little bit because you, need, you get to mourn and feel your feelings. But when it is time, find a mentor, find a program, find a workshop, find something that you feel a vibrational match to and commit to it with your whole heart and don't look back. It does not matter what the investment cost is. It does not matter what it is asked of you because you have nowhere else to go besides to expand. So when you find the answer of where to go, you do it and don't look back because your musical calling is calling you forward. So if you, anyone who's listening to this, if you feel like you're there and you feel that you and I are a vibrational match, this is your invitation to private message me and to do that deep inner work with someone who sees your calling and sees where you're going as music medicine for the world. If you feel a vibrational match to work with me, private message me and we will get you the results that you are looking for. I see we have beautiful people here today. Annie, Andrew, Justin, and Faye. Sending my love to you. Thank you so much for doing the work you are doing. It is so important that you do it. Stay and feel your feelings for as long as you need to and then get moving forward. Overcome those fears, tribe. It's time. This is what life is asking you to do so that you can actually be who you came here to be. Private message me when you feel a vibrational match, and we'll do that work together, and I'm sending my love to my tribe.